Let's take a look at how the periodic tells us how many neutrons, protons, and electrons an atom has. The first thing we should do is look at the atomic number. This is the number 4 for beryllium. The atomic number tells us the number of protons an atom has. Any atom with this many protons has to be this element. If we see four protons, we know it has to be beryllium. And if we see beryllium, we know it has to have four protons. In a neutral atom, that is, an atom with a charge of zero, it's going to have the same number of electrons as it does protons. Every plus needs a minus. Now, let's take a look at the atomic weight, the 9.0122 on beryllium. Not all periodic tables will have this number at the bottom. Some tables have the weight at the top or on the side. The way to tell which one is the weight and which one is the atomic number is that the weight will always be bigger than the atomic number. The atomic weight tells us how much stuff the atom is made out of. This is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons with some extra give or take. It's technically an average, but let's not worry about that right now. Since the atomic weight is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, we can use a little algebra to rearrange our equation. Since the atomic weight is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, we can take the atomic weight and subtract the number of protons to get the number of neutrons. Because we can't have half of a neutron, or 0.0122 of a neutron, we have to use rounding. To round, we need to look at the first number after the decimal. If the number is less than 5, but smaller than 5, we round down. So for beryllium, we will get an atomic weight of 9. If instead, the number is bigger than 5, for example for boron, we will round up. So for beryllium, we take our rounded 9 and subtract 4 to get 5 neutrons. Sometimes we might have the same number of neutrons as we did protons and electrons. This is not always true though, so it's always best to do the math to make sure you know exactly how many neutrons there are. So to recap, we will have 4 protons because the atomic number is 4. We also have four electrons. We will get, from subtracting our atomic weight and our atomic number, five neutrons.